Welcome to HiCat Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create both and not in 3D model. Now, here is one on the screen, and here are the specifications. Okay, this is the hexagonal head, and the distance across corner is 28, and the height of this hexagonal head is 10. And here is the knot as well. The knot is 12 mm in height. So I'm going to start the creating this body geometry first with the hexagonal head and then the hexagonal knot. So I'm going to switch back again to head geometry view to start this body drawing. Okay. Right, now I'm going to draw a circle of diameter 28. Diameter 28. Okay, now with the polygon command, I'm going to draw a hexagon which is six sided uh, polygon. So I click on the polygon command and enter six. Then choose the center and the circle. Click enter again and stop at the bottom point of this very circle. Now, this is the hexagon. The next I'll do now is to extrude this very hexagon to a height of 10. So, I'll click on the extrude command and extrude this very hexagon to a height of 10. Okay, now the next I'll do is to create this chamfer at the top of the hexagonal head. And to do that, I'll switch again back to the front view. This is the object here. So I click on the front view, I'll switch to 3D wireframe. So you can see my construction right here. Now I'm going to draw a line of Two horizontally, draw another line of two downwards and connect this. Okay, now I'll switch again back to a geometric view. Okay, this is the object. Now I'm going to revolve this very triangle. Around the periphery of this very circle. So I click on revolve and click on this very triangle and choose these two points as the axis. Okay, now enter an angle of 360. Okay, that is done. So again, I'm going to create another hexagon for the knot. So I'm also going to use Circle command and choose the diameter of 28. And draw the hexagon to 6. Look at the center of the circle. Enter. Method. Okay, now I'm going to extrude this very hexagon now to a height of 12. So I click on extrude and extrude this to a height of 12. Okay. Again I'm going to switch back to the front view. We'll also create the chamfer at the top and the bottom of the very hexagonal knobs. So I return to the front view. See the object here. So I'll draw another line of two horizontally. Two. Draw another line horizontally, vertical downwards. Two. Then connect this. Okay. 
I'll do the same thing here. Draw a line of two preliminary points horizontally. Draw another one vertically up from here. Two. Then connect this. Okay. I'm going to join all these lines now using the join command. Join them. Okay. So again, I want to return back again to isometric view. This is the object. Now I'm going to also revolve this piece like I did for this. So I click on the revolve command and click the two. This and this. Enter. I click the ball. To the center, vertically. Now enter an angle of 360. That is done. Now what I'll do next now is we subtract from this and remove these ones. Okay, that is done. So I'll also do the same thing here. Subtract from this and subtract this to be very long. Okay, that is done. So this is the hexagonal knot and this is the head of the boat itself, so the hexagonal head. So the next I'll do now is to create the trailer portion to be very trade. The trailer portion of the boat. And the dimension here is 50. The length of the trailer portion is 50. And the diameter of the thread, also the length of the thread is 13. So the core diameter is 14. So here I'm going to draw a circle of 14 and 18. That's 14 for the core diameter of the thread and 18 for the outer diameter of the thread. Switch back again to the main drawing. So here I'm going to draw a circle of 14 first. Okay, I have to check the auto mode now. So I have to switch to the top view of the ECS. Then draw a circle of 14 diameter. Then draw another circle of 18 diameter. Diameter 18. Okay, now I'm going to draw another line from the center of these two circles to the quadrant point of the very circle. Okay, now I'm going to draw the line from the center of 50, which is the length of the toilet portion of the boat. Okay, now the next thing I'll do now is to create the thread profile. And that I'll do using the rectangle command. So I'm going to draw a rectangle of 2 by 2. Uh, but before I do that, I have to switch the UCS to left. Okay, so I draw a rectangle of 2 by 2, 2 comma 2. Okay, use the polyline command and create a triangle out of it. Okay, now delete this. Right, now I will now move this very triangle from the very point and place it right here. Okay, now I have to create a helix on which part I will place this triangle. So I move down to the draw command and click on helix. Then click here at the center of the helix. And before I do that, I'll have to also change the position of the UCS to top. I click on this and choose top. 
Now I'll click on the draw command and choose helix. Choose here at the center of the helix and choose here as a the base diameter, the base radius, and also choose the same spot at the top radius and go to a height of 50. Okay, that is done. Now the next I will do now is to run this body track profile along the path of the helix. So I click on extrude, extrude the very triangle and choose the path of the helix. Okay, that is done. So the next I will do now is to extrude this very circle of protein diameter to a height of 50. So I click on extrude and extrude to a height of 50. Okay, that is done now. So I will now have to draw another circle of 14, 18, and extrude to a height of 5. Put the difference between this and this. I need to draw a circle of 18 diameter and a height of 5. And put it right under this. So on the circle command, draw a circle of 18 diameter. And extrude to a height of 5. 5. So I will now move this very extruded circle from the top here and place it right here. That is done. So I'm now going to use the union command to join this and this. Okay, now I will now move the whole of this from this other point then place it right here. Okay, that is done. And what I will do here is to move this here and subtract this from this. So next I'm going to draw a line of 25 from the center of this. But what then I'm going to remove this line. Erase this. Then draw a fresh line of 25 zero point upwards. 25. So that is done. And move. Move this. And pick it from here. And place it right here, look at this very point. And place it there. Okay, I don't need these lines now, I have to wipe them off. Erase them. Okay, now I'm going to make a copy of this. Copy this out here. Copy. Okay, so I'm going to right, so I'm not going to um, subtract the bolts from the knot here. Before then, let me use the commands to unite these things. Okay. Now I'm going to now subtract the bolts from the knot to create the current portion of the knot. So I click on solid subtract, click on the knot, and I subtract the bolts. Okay, that is done. So this is the knot, and this is the the bolt and knot here. So this is not threaded. I'm going to remove this, erase this, and replace it with this. So I can now copy this. I can now move this knot to the center here. Okay. And place it here. Okay, that is not done. Let me do it. Alright, so this is the bolt I'm not completed now. 
Okay, wrap up these ones and bring them. Okay, bring this as well. So, this is the both are not completed, and if this is here, it is assembled. So, thanks for watching, and please do subscribe for more of my tutorials.